all right so the final part of the january 2018 is here which of the following sets is represented by the function f is such that x map onto x squared plus 3 where x belongs to where the domain are 0 1 2 and 3 so x belongs to this set so to do that we need to substitute all these value into the function and calculate their corresponding values in the range so this is the domain we we'll find the range now so when x equals 0 we square 0 plus 3 that will give us 3 then when x equal 1 square 1 plus 3 to get 4 then when x equal 2 square 2 it should give you 4 plus 3 which is 7 then when x equal 3 you square 3 that, that will give you 9 plus 3 that will give you 12 so the set that belongs to the function now that is represented by the function is 0 3 1 4 2 7 then 3 12 so 0 3 1 4 2 7 then 3 12 so the correct answer will be option 4 and the last option now let us look at the item 52 refers to the following transversal diagram so this is pq and this is rs in the diagram pq and rs are parallel so which of the following best describes the relation between p and q so we can say that if we trace a z shape we can see p and q in the interior corners of the z so this is called the alternate interior angles and alternate interior angles are always congruent that means they are equal therefore we have p is equal to q which means that our first of choice is the correct answer then we have item 53 over here item 53 refers to the following diagram which shows a translation and this is a translation in the diagram the translation by which a b is mapped onto a prime b prime is represented by which of the following vectors so to do that we know translation is by addition so we let this be our translated vector or our translation vector then if we add a translation vector to any of these points or the 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 um I mean the vector the position vector that is corresponding to the point if you add it it must take us to the corresponding uh, image point over here so we add this point to 5 in the column form we add it to the vector our translation vector and it should give us this over here you can also decide to use this add this to this and it should give you this so if you do that we get something like this let's subtract 2 5 from both both vectors and that will give us 2 1 so you can check your result by adding 2 1 so 2 plus 5 is 7 and 1 plus 7 is 8 therefore the translated vector is the translation vector is 2 1 so option B is the correct choice now how about item 54 which refers to the following diagram of a circle if O is the center of the circle then Y is what so this is Y and we know that by the circuit theorems we know the angle at the center is always twice the one at the circumference so angle at the center O is twice the one on the circumference over here which is C so we know that angle AOB should be equal to two times angle ACB. So this angle ACB and this angle AOB should be equal to twice angle ACB. Now we know y is the angle AOB and 50 degrees is the angle ACB. So when we substitute, we get this expression. 
When we multiply, we get y is equal to 100 degrees. Therefore, the correct option is D. Now, the item 55. A ship sailed 8 kilometers due east. So, let's say the ship started here. This is our cardinal point. So, 8 kilometers due east will be like this. Because this is east. This is east direction and this is north. So, 8 kilometers due east. This will be 8 kilometers. Then, so from A, so this will be our A. And to B, this will be our B. So, we still have our cardinal point here. Then, we're also told that it then sold 6 kilometers due north. So, north is this side. So, it's 6 kilometers due north. 6 kilometers due north. So, we're told that which of the following diagrams best represent the part of the ship. Um, so, 8 kilometers first. 8 kilometers first. Then 6 kilometers north up to C. So, the correct answer will be option C. Now, we have this. Item 50C refers to the following diagram, which shows a transformation. A transformation which will... Which will We should map triangle P Q add onto P prime Q prime R prime is. So we know a rotation of 180 degrees, a refraction in a line y equal x, an enlargement center R of a scale factor negative one, then translates chain parallel to the x axis. Wow. So let's see. You know, if you look at this, this is in the second quadrant and the coordinates of the second quadrant are negative positive x is negative and y is positive and we see that over here x will become positive and y will become negative so we can see we can see that the the x value has been negated so negative negative x was mapping onto positive x then negative y now become negative y so we negated this one to, to get the result. So in other words, we negated both coordinates to get the image. How about this one too? Let's negate this and this. You get x0. And we can see that where q is, the, the x value will be positive and the y will be 0. The same thing applies to the r. It will also be x0. So in other words, we are negating the first coordinates and negating both coordinates to obtain the the image so it means that this is the mapping for a 180 degrees rotation about the origin so the correct option will be option a now if you reflect a line in the line y equal x if you reflect this in the line y, y equal x then the image should be somewhere here the image should be somewhere here then if you an enlargement so this cannot be an enlargement a translation is not a translation so the correct option will be option option a then we have item 57 refers to the the following diagram the diagram not drawn to scale shows that the angle of depression of point x from z is 35 so this angle is 35 if x is 12 meters from y, the height yz in meters is. So we know that this and this are interior alternate angles. Alternate interior angles. So this will also be 35 degrees. This will also be 35 degrees. So because this is 35 degrees and we are looking for yz which is opposite and we know si which is adjacent. And we use the tangent ratio because tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we are going to get tan 35 degrees is equal to yz over xy. So tan 35 degrees will be yz over 12. Multiply with side by 12. By 12, then you get that you obtain this. yz equal 12 tan 35 degrees. So the correct answer will be C. Now let us look at item 58. Item 50A refers to the following diagram which shows an enlargement. In the diagram, 
triangle ABC is mapped onto triangle A prime B prime C prime, where O is the center of enlargement. What is the scale factor of the enlargement? So, the scale factor is given by object length, uh, the um, image length over corresponding object length. So, we can easily calculate this. We know that this corresponds to 4. Uh, so, this is 4 units. And we also can read that this is 2 units. So, we have 4 over 2. And that will give us 2. Therefore, the scale factor is 2. Item 59 refers to the following diagram of a triangle. In the right angle triangle above, which trigonometry ratio is equal to 4 out of 8? So, we know that we have one side and we have the hypotenuse. So, since it is involving the hypotenuse, the ratio is either cosine ratio or the sine ratio. It involves the hypotenuse. But the tangent does not involve the hypotenuse. So this is totally out. Now, because the remaining from the options are all talking about the x. So we know that when we are at x, the opposite side is 4. So it will involve the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So that is only going to be sine. That is only going to be sine. Because the sine involves opposite over hypotenuse. So we know sine x. Sine x will be equal to opposite which is bc over ac and that will give you 4 out of 8 therefore the correct choice is a now a final question for uh, january 2018 paper one objective multiple choice is here in the diagram above ab is parallel to ec so this line is parallel to this line the value of angle bd is so angle bde B D E is this angle and this and this are same side interior angles so the same side interior angles will always add up to 180 degrees so it means that we should add angle B D E B D E to 40 and we should get 180 and we subtract so this is E B D E angle B D E will be equal to 180 minus 140 and that will be equal to 140 degrees therefore the correct answer is 140 sorry i mean 180 minus 40. so my students thank you so much and i'm wishing you once again all the best in your exams i know you are going to perform very well but do not forget to subscribe to my second channel tutor francis you can type this name in the youtube address bar then you it will take you to my second channel please subscribe to that channel for me tutor francis francis it's a it's a now, uh, if you can still see this red thing here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So you just have to click it so that the next upload, you see it is still red. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.